Hello everybody, and how is everybody doing today? Oh, I am so delighted to hear that. And me? Oh yes, I'm doing very well indeed. The sun is shining today. It's cold, it's wintry, but the sun is out, the skies are clear. It's a perfect day for flying. So where are we off to today, you ask? Good question. Nelson91 wrote me, and this is what he said. Greetings from Argentina. Y saludos para usted también. He said, could I make a flight between Paris and Frankfurt? Por supuesto que puedo. Of course I can. And so that's what we'll do today. We're going to go from Paris, Charles de Gaulle, to Frankfurt International. Now, the Paris Charles de Gaulle Airport is LFPG, and the scenery, it's really wonderful scenery. It's made by Taxi to Gate. And the Frankfurt EDDF scenery is made by Aerosoft. So, if you're ready, then let's go into pre-flight. Let's fly, shall we? Entonces, vuelemos. Well, here we are at Flight Aware. Now, I did a search and found that Lufthansa does the flight between Paris Charles de Gaulle and Frankfurt. And the flight number is Lufthansa 1035. You can also find it by putting in LH1035. This one left Paris at gate D67 and arrived at Terminal 1. It was 39 minutes late departing and 35 minutes late in arriving. We, of course, are going to do better than that. We are Ryanair 186. <laughs> As if. Right, and having a look at the route, here's the route. It took off from Charles de Gaulle and looks like there's a bit of a googly there. That's obviously the departure SID. And then the route, and then it comes around on the arrival star to come into Frankfurt here. Looking at the... Ah, 29,000 feet is what they gave this one. So we should be getting about the same, I suspect. So let's have a look at Windy, see what Windy has to say. Here's Windy for LFPG. And there it is. There's, there's Charles de Gaulle right here. It says the wind is coming from 300 degrees at 9 knots. Villas visit visibility is 10 kilometers or more clouds few at 1000 scattered at 10,000 temperature is a chilly four degrees q and h 1009 so there's a bit of low pressure over the area but it seems to be clear because it says it's vfr and has been vfr for the past few hours so that's a good sign now, which runway shall we be taking off from? Well, hopefully, we'll be taking off on one of these. I don't know which one they'll route us to, but we'll have to see. But I suspect it will be this one here. Now, looking at Windy for EDDF, here we can see the wind is coming from 210 degrees, a little different. 
Visibility is 10 kilometers or more, clouds for you at 1100 feet, broken at 1900 feet. A little bit more cloud there. Temperature is a warmer, 5 degrees, Q&H 1000. Again, that is low pressure area. Here's the critical thing. It says it is minimum VFR conditions. So there's anything can happen going into Frankfurt today. And here's the airport. Well, in all likelihood, we'll be following the same route coming in that the previous Lufthansa flight made, and that will be to come in on this runway here. That's, that's the presumption anyway. Well, let's go into Simbrief and let's make our flight plan and see what comes up. We are Ryanair, we are 186. We're departing from LFPG and we're going to go to EDDF. And there is, this is Dusseldorf, I think, is our alternate. We are Ryanair. So there's brought in our profile. Here's our registration right here. And of course, the cruise profile is six. Schedule flight time is one hour 20. Ah, departure will be from two seven left, arrival on two five right, according to this. Well, we are full of passengers. We have one ton of French champagne, of course. I'm going to leave the altitude as auto just to see what comes up when we make the uh, flight plan. The route is valid for the current AIRAC. Distance is 374 nautical miles. And this, this is the routing that they have given us. So having a look, here's the the flight path from down here, Paris, and uh, making the t swing out. Looks like we'll be following exactly the same route as the Lufthansa flight, and then out to here, and then coming in to land at EDDF. And here's Dusseldorf to the north in case things don't go the way we want. Looks like a good flight. What do you think? Good? Yeah. All right. So let's go ahead and save this. And then we'll go in and generate the flight plan and have a look and see what it gives us. And there it is. Well, here is our flight plan. And LFPG to EDDF with Dusseldorf as the alternate. Cruise, 21,000 feet. Hmm. Block fuel, 6,343 kilograms. And there is the routing. And looking down here, this is the flight route. Now, having a look at some of the important bits. This, of course, is who we are. This is the flight plan for Ryanair 186. Our cruising altitude is 21,000 feet. And right here is the, the routing. We're going to need cost index six. We're going to need to know the average wind. And down here, of course, we're going to need, there's our block fuel. Reserves are 2,599. That's 2,000, 2.6 when we calculate. And the trip and taxi is 3,114. And here is the entire routing ID. Now, I will put this online in the description box so that you can follow this at your own leisure. 
And then down here, we will need to know the wind speed and direction at 200. That's flight level 200. And here at flight level 150 and at 10,000 feet right there. Now let's just zoom down and see what the weather is. Ah, oh, look at this. There's a big frontal movement moving in and it looks like it is moving in that direction towards Frankfurt. Well, interesting weather patterns that we've got here. Now here's the Flight level 180, it looks like we're going to be having crosswinds and then slight tailwinds as we get in. And look at this. When we get into Germany, the feathers on these arrows have increased, so it's going to be some pretty strong winds out there. Well, here you can see how strong they are. This is pretty much our flight level right here. Look at all of this. Look at how strong those crosswinds are. That is some, that's some strong crosswind stuff there. And again over here it looks like there's going to be some interesting winds that we'll have to contend with. And here is our vertical profile. So it looks like we make the climb and then at Medox we climb a little bit more until the top of descent then straight down into Frankfurt. This wavy line, an interesting <laughs> line, this is the troposphere. So there is certainly some very interesting wind patterns out there. All right, let's go into Navigraph and put our flight plan together and make all the charts, shall we? Well, here we are in Navigraph. We go flight, new flight, from sim brief, and there's the latest one. Now to bring the charts down below to where we can use them uh, quickly, click here on LFPG, open the charts list. Now we're going to need the airport and here it is, it's appeared at the bottom. We're going to need to know the stands and the parking coordinates. Let's have a look here at the chart. Now this is the departure plate that we'll be using. And there is the route. It's got us leaving from the upper uh, runways. I'm just going to pin this and then it will appear down below here. Now, going all the way over here, let's open the charts list. We will need the airport. And it would be useful to have parking stands. For the approach, we'll be coming in on 25 left. So here's 25 left, there's category 3 ILS runway 25 left. So we'll pin that. Let's have a look at the overlay on that. So we'll be coming in Yeah, it's bringing us in at the at the bottom runways. Okay, so we will come in DF626. All right. Here is the approach chart. I'm going to pin this. And it looks like the route is to come in 
go down and then approach in that direction. All right, let's bring this back up. And let's see what we can do about making the arrangements. So DF626, let's see what we do here. And I'm going to go to ILS Runway 25 left is the one that we're being given. And here we go, DF626, pin that. Now you can see the route going straight in through there. Right, we are all set, we're ready to go. So let's go ahead and jump into the cockpit and vuelemos, eh? Ah, there you are, Nelson. Do come in, take a seat, fasten your seatbelt, and let's get ourselves ready, shall we? Now, we are here at Paris Charles de Gaulle Airport. We are at stand E17, Echo 17, which is at terminal S3, Sierra 3. This is a good location for where we need to be departing from. And we'll see what ATIS gives us and what ATC clears us to for when we depart. So, welcome to 186. Bienvenido a 186. So it's ready now to get ourselves started, okay? Are you ready? Right, first thing we do, we turn on the power. We check that we have 26 volts, we've got that. And then we turn on the fuel pumps and then turn on the APU and get it started. I've already been around and I've checked the tires. I've washed the windows. Look, look how clean they are. <laughs> and uh, everything is set and ready to go. All the champagne is loaded. All the caviar is getting chilled. And the staircase is down and the, the door is open and the self-loading cargo is beginning to board. <laughs> Right, this is starting to slip back a bit now on the engine gas temperature, so it looks like we'll be able to switch to the generator from the APU as soon as this blue light comes on. And there it is. Good. We now have 115 volts coming from the APU. Right, I'm going to turn this, the IRS, left and right on. That's our GPS navigation system. I'm going to turn on the galley. Hopefully, somebody will be there to make a cup of good uh, South American coffee. I'm going to turn on the emergency lights, which are down the center of the aisleway. No smoking. Fasten seat belt. I'm not going to bother calling the attendants. They never come. And here is the left and the right window heat. Keep them nice and dry. I'm going to turn the probes on. It's cold outside. I want them to get good and warm. And then the hydraulic pumps. I'm turning those on. Then over here, I'm turning on the packs for the heat and there you can hear the air rushing through the nozzles over the seats to get everybody nice and warm all right then the other thing i'm going to do turn on the steady light so that the ground crew knows that we're in here and we are getting ourselves ready Right, now we're set to program the FMC. So we go FMC, position, 
and then we put in our position here, which is LF, PG. LF and P and G. Now we are at stand E17. Let's see if it will take it. E17. It did. And what we'll do is we will confirm that by looking at the stand information for the coordinates. So, stand E17. It's 49.001 and 02.35.1. And that's exactly correct, so we will put that in. Now we'll go to our route and we'll put that in. We're starting out at LFPG, so we'll put LFPG. Destination is EDDL. We are Ryanair, RYR, and we're flight 186. I'm going to go down to next page, and then I'm going to put in Ranux, which is our first point. So, R-A-N-U-X. And then we take the Uniform November 858. So, Uniform November 858. And that will take us to Medox. M-E-D-O-X. Then we go to BETOX. So B-E-T-E-X. Then we take the Zulu 110. And that will take us to Rasbo, R-A-S-B-O. And then we take the Tango 180, 180, and that will take us to Unoko, so U-N-O-K-O. -O. And that's our route. Activate, execute, go to fix. EDDL is our fix. We want a four mile circle. We want a 10 mile radius. And we want a 30 mile radius. Go to descent, forecast. We'll leave the transition level at 060 because that is assigned by ATC in Europe. But we will need the information for flight level 200, flight level 150, and flight level 100. The Q&H at our destination is 1000. So 1, 1000. At flight level 200, it is 246 and 41, 246 and 41, pretty fast wind there. And then at 150, it is 254 and 23, 254, 23, and at 10,000 feet, it is 303 at 24, 303 at 24. 24 and execute that now for our departures here we need to we're going to need to tune in now to the ATIS to see what is active and the ATIS is 127.12 so 127.12 Charles de Gaulle airport information alpha 114 minus Zulu wind 32 minor 15 visibility greater than 20 miles sky condition 900 scattered few clouds at 2700 temperature 3 dew point minus 1 altimeter 100 minor landing and departing one way to 7 right one way to 7 left one way to 6 right one way to 6 left 
one way northwest right and one way northeast left. The FR aircraft say direction of flight. All aircraft read back hold short instructions. Advise controller on initial contact you have. Alpha. Well, we have Alpha. So now we're going to need to contact uh, departure control and get our clearance and that will tell us which one of the runways that uh, are all active at the moment, which one we will be assigned. So we're going to depart to the uh, east, so that will be ground Ryanair 186 with Alpha request taxi for takeoff east departure. Ryanair 186 taxi to and hold short of runway 26 right via taxiway Papa 3 Romeo Romeo Tango 5 Tango Romeo Tango 8 Romeo Romeo 1 contact tower on 1 2 0 point liner when ready Taxi hold short runway 26 right via taxiway Papa 3 Romeo Romeo Tango 5 Tango Romeo Tango 8 Romeo Romeo 1 Ryanair 186 Right, we have our clearance, so we're going to go to 26 right, which is good for us, good for us. So 26 right, so we'll put that in. That means we will be using the Ranux 5 X-ray departure, Ranux 5 Bravo I should say. So Ranux and there it is, the Ranux 5 Bravo and we will put that in. For our arrivals, So we're hoping to come in on ILS 25 Center when we get to EDDF. And that means we'll be using the, the UNOCO approach. So let's look for the UNOCO approach. The UNOCO 3 Alpha, put that in. The transition, if you recall, was the DF526, so we'll put that in, execute that. Now I'm going to go to legs, then I'm going to switch to plan, and I'm going to have a look at our route to see how it works out. So I'm going to go through each of these steps here. There's the departure, Medox, Vertex, the two, There's the Unoco coming in. The DF416 will bring that up. So it brings it into a smoother turn here. And then going through the steps, it brings us in straight into the runway. Okay. We have a good plan, switch that back to map. Now I'm going to go to weather on that, and data, and terrain on that, and data. Time to turn the TCAS on. Now I'm going to put the decision height in, and that's going to be in radio, and it will be 50 feet. So we have that in place. Okay, so far so good. Now, now it's time to go ahead and perform the initialization. Our plan fuel is 2599, which is the reserve, plus the trip 3114. That comes to 5,713 or 5.7. So 5.7. Our reserves 2.6. I double click this and it calculates everything. 
put in cost index 6. Our cruise altitude is 2100, so 210. The cruise wind is 281 at 25, 281 at 25. The transition altitude for Germany is 5,000 feet. Execute that and one limit. Oh, it's three degrees in Paris. My goodness me. I think we're warmer than that in England. Take off. We'll do flaps 10. Double click that to bring in the center of gravity and the trim wheel. And then one, two and three. This gives us our V1, our rotation speed, and V2. So now we're ready to put in that information into the MCP. So we're going to be going to 21,000 feet. I'm going to put 21,000 feet in our cruising altitude up here for the pressure. Our airport elevation is 364 feet at our destination so that will be 350 for the landing altitude our initial heading since we are departing from runway 26 right is going to be 264 so i'm going to put 264 in here I'll put 264 in this heading as well. And I'll do it for you on your side. Is that okay? All right, I'll put it in for you then. 264. The mark is 145. So now I've pressed that, put the flight director on. And we have two green lights that shows us that we have a good plan on the throttle. Put the VOR1 on, VOR1 here too. And we are now set. Good. I'm going to turn on the yaw damper, which will take the flight continuity light off. Turn the anti-skid on. Everybody's on board, so I'm now going to bring up the stairs and close the hatch. You can hear the air stairs there. Right, we are now set. Everybody's sitting down. Hope everybody's sitting down, ladies and gentlemen, etc., 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 etc. You know how the spiel goes. You've been on airplanes. All right, so now we need to... Just do a quick check, everything is looking good, and before start. So fuel is correct, windows are all locked, yes, seatbelt signs are on, door lights are out and checked, MCP is all set, uh, takeoff thrust is correct, speed CDU pre-flight is completed now. We're going to need to go in that direction. So we need our nose to the right, our tail to the left. Is that okay? All right. Rudder air on trim, free, clear, taxi takeoff briefing is complete. Anti-collision light is now going on. Right, so now we'll ask the nice people on the ground to give us a pushback and we're going to turn the nose to the right 90 degrees and are you ready are you set estamos listo entonces vuelamos all right so here we go then cockpit to ground
We've been cleared for pushback and start. They want the tail to our left. Roger that. Ready to push. Tail to the left. Park brakes off. Parking brake is off. Brakes released. Which engine would you like to start with today? Uh, numero uno, numero dos. Uno, dos. Here we go. Second one, okay. Turn off the air conditioning and I'm switching now to generator two up here and switching to ground on there. The start valve has opened. It's starting to spin up. Here it's showing a good climb. When it gets to 24, I'll bring up the fuel and introduce the fuel to the engines. And there's 24 bringing in the fuel. Now we'll watch the EGT start to climb and we're looking for the low oil pressure light to come out. And we're getting ourselves turned in the proper direction here for taxi. The low oil pressure light has gone out. Engine gas temperature is rising nicely. Ah, the engines have fired. Good. Now I'm going to start engine number one. I've got 115 volts on engine two, so I'm going to now switch to generator one. Push back complete. Parking brake, please. Parking brake is set. Okay. Brake set. Is climbing as soon as it gets to 24. I'll bring in the fuel, and there it goes. We're looking now for the engine gas temperature to right, rise. Right, is disconnected. Watch for the slip release from guidance on your left. Have a good flight. Thank you. And we're looking for the low oil pressure light to go out. It just did. It's climbing very nicely. And we should start to hear the other engine kick in. There it goes, there's engine number one, and we have 115 volts, we are good. And as soon as this little tip mark goes out, that says then we have stabilized engines, then we can, good. Now we can switch to the main engines for our power. Turning on the heat again, turning off the APU bleed, and turning off the APU. Turning on the three taxi lights, and just checking across the board. Right, recall is checked, flight controls check, flaps. We're going to go to flaps 10. We need to verify the takeoff speeds. And making one small adjustment there. The flaps are in transition. And we have green lights on the flaps. Probe heat is on, check, anti-ice, not required, isolation valve, auto. Start levers idle, detents. Flight deck door is locked and closed. Auto brake is set to RTO. Speed brake lever down, detent. Ground equipment is clear. Right, we are now ready to taxi. And we've got to go out there. We've got to turn left and make our way to the end of runway 26 right. Alright, break off and hold very tight please, here we go. I'm going to make my way here over to the center line.
something is coming and we'll turn on here this is a very detailed airport scenery look at this how detailed this is and they've got kamikaze vehicles here as well my goodness this of course is made by Taxi to Gate is the manufacturer of this particular airport scenery. And we turn right here. And then we'll turn left on this one. There we go, the arrow is pointing us in the correct direction. scenery this really well done
contact them for clearance. All right, holding here. So request takeoff. Kibble Tower, Ryan Air 186, ready for departure to the east at runway 26 right. Ryan Air 186, clear for takeoff, runway 26 right. Departure to the east, approved. Cleared for takeoff, runway 26 right, Ryan Air 186. We are cleared for takeoff. So, takeoff briefing is correct, please. Engine start switches are continuous. Lights are on. Flaps are good. RTO. And that is on. And starting the clock. Now we'll move out into the runway and line up on the center line, ready for departure. making sure nothing's coming in of course okay we're lined up so now I'm advancing the power to M1 watching the needles we are good push the toga button and here we go we're now rolling
this crabbing crew treat you royally to some champagne and caviar. I'll let you know as soon as we're on our way down and in on the approach to Frankfurt, okay? I'll see you in a little bit. Recall is checked, auto brake 
there's going to be some inclement weather. Um, we are minus seven at the minute. I may have to put the anti-ice on, depending upon how it looks if we enter into any cloud. But we're all set up to make our landing in Frankfurt. And yes, I did make an error when I was doing the programming. I put in for our destination that we were going to go to Dusseldorf. Ha! Well, that of course was our alternate. And I corrected that so we now have all of the proper figures in for landing at Frankfurt. I also changed all the radial circles uh, in order to match Frankfurt and not Dusseldorf. World Travel 682 by turn next taxiway. Our speed is about 250 knots. And we're just now starting to turn onto our base leg. All right, I'm now going, I've turned on the lights. I'm switching to continuous. And I'm keeping my eyes open on weather conditions. I'm going to start to slow up now. So I'm going to flaps one. Flaps as uh, life has gone. Good. We're on flaps one. We have flaps one. World travel 682 by turn next taxiway. In a moment, we'll be turning on base leg, on uh, final, I should say. So I'm going to set that up. Six eight two by contact ground on one two one point eight on a two zero eight two clear for takeoff runway two five left. I have the courses set for two four seven for landing. Two zero eight two and one two one point eight. And setting this to also 247, we're now on final. And going to the flaps 2. Wintry 
weather here.
uh, nine DME miles to go. And there is Frankfurt, over to the right. <laughs> Runway 
will need to take off here, go down, and find ourselves a place to park over there. So, here we go. Got to look out for the kamikazes. Look at the snow coming down here. This is really, really coming down hard. Beautiful scenery here. This is made by Aerosoft, by the way. Made the uh, Frankfurt scenery very detailed. Look at this. go we need to go down there before we can find ourselves a parking gate but cleanup is complete so we are just taxiing now finding our place to park You've got an umbrella. Yes, this is, this does not look like it's going to stop anytime soon. It is pouring down cats and dogs, elephants and rhinoceroses as, as, as well. <laughs> Runway 25 left, altimeter 1001. 
That's the bullet side over there. And here is Alpha 25. We'll take this one. Here we go. Now we'll make our turn. Check out the parking signs for a distance. And coming up it says eight, seven, and stop. Parking brake is on, engines off. Stairs and doors are down. Lights are off and TCAS is off. Cleanup is done. Yeah, your damper off. IRS off. AU generator galley off. Fasten seat belt signs are off. Window heat all off. Right. The stairs are down. And we parked perfectly. We came in until it said stop. Frankfurt Tower. That's our stop. Six four seven is one four miles east inbound. I L S. All right. Two five and approach. Orbit five one two three. Everything is looking good. Okay. So fuel pumps are off. APU is off. And battery is off. Shutdown is complete. Well, there you are. We made it. We did the Paris to Frankfurt run. I hope it's exactly what you wanted or what you expected. We ran into some weather. Uh, well, that's great. And of course, the old bold pilot made a mistake in programming the FMC. So you'll have to forgive me for that. Old age and all the little gray cells have all disappeared or something like that. But anyway, thank you. Thank you, Nelson91 for giving me the suggestion and the opportunity to make the flight. So, gracias por volar con Ryanair 186. Thank you for flying Ryanair 186, everybody. I'll see you the next time around. Bye.